I'm the Beretta guy. Hey, it's the Beretta guy. I'm coming to you today. I'm down in the basement as usual. Um, I want to talk to you about the four golden rules of gun safety. Now, <clears throat> the four golden rules, they've been around for a while now. They're a great concept. They were brought about by Colonel Jeff Cooper. Go check out uh, Gunsight Academy. He's legendary. If you don't know that name, look it up. Read his books. All uh, right. So anyway, the four golden rules of gun safety. Um, these are important. They're, they're so important. As a gun owner, they're probably the most important thing that you could possibly know and practice owning a gun. So it's important that you learn these rules, memorize these rules, practice what I'm going to preach. Okay? This is not, it's not even, it's not even debatable. These four rules are here for your safety, my safety, and everybody around us that owns a, that's near a gun. Um, <clears throat> these rules are set up pretty cool actually um, the way they were written and the way that they're worded each rule kind of safeguards the other so if one is missed the other ones should pick up the slack so as long as you're not violating two or more of the rules you might get away with it and, and uh, it's a big might so just be careful out there and let's go over these rules I know you're dying to know what they are so let's give that a shot. Treat every gun as if it's loaded. It's, it is loaded. I don't care how many times you've picked it up or pulled it out of a box or even if you just bought it and it's brand spanking new and you know there's no ammunition in there, you treat it as if it's loaded, even if you know it's not loaded. Because it's not a cap gun, folks. It's not a toy. You can't go pulling it out and pulling the trigger. You have to check that gun every time you pick it up. And as soon as it leaves your hands and you pick it up again, you check it again. If it's been in your hands for a long time and you get distracted, it's easy to have a bullet in that chamber. Check it again. You want to know how to check it? I'll show you how to check it. It's easy to do. Okay? You pick it up. You keep your finger up here you take it out of whatever it's in if it's in a holster or whatever you drop the magazine look bullets in there yeah it's dangered up that's right <clears throat> and then you rack the slide bullet came out right let's check it again open I look I physically check there's no bullet in the chamber empty chamber don't look for brass Look for an empty chamber, because it might not be brass, it might be steel, it might be something, okay? So, you can physically check with your finger if you're not sure. <clears throat> but that's all you do. Treat it as if it's loaded, because it probably is. It should be. Never point your gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. Pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? If you're going to point it at something, you better be prepared to shoot it, okay? That's, that's the whole rule behind this. You don't, like I said before, it's not a cap gun, it's not a toy. You don't go pointing it at your pets. You don't go pointing it at pictures around the house. You take a safe target that you're going to be willing to shoot. Because if number one has not been followed and you pointed at something that you're not willing to destroy, there's a good possibility you're going to destroy it, okay? And that could be a life, and that's not good. Um, that also applies when you're handling the gun. When you're handling the gun, I mean, and when I mean handling the gun, I'm talking about going to the range, getting ready to shoot, all right? Your target, we're going to say my target's down here, all right? If my target is down here, my gun needs to point that way all the time. So... When I'm at the range, my gun is pointed that way. And the first thing we got to do, I set it down. So what do I got to do? I got to check it. So I'll pull it out of the holster. I'm going to drop the magazine. It's loaded, right? I'm going to open up the chamber. No bullet came out, 
that makes me wonder okay there's no no brass in there it's an empty chamber so he caught me didn't you I said there's no brass in there but there isn't because it's empty I put my finger in there to prove it the action's empty but where is this pointed the whole time down down range okay so <clears throat> when you're at the range and you're talking to people and you're shooting you got to keep that gun pointed in that direction all the time even if it's sitting on the table we're going to say my hand is a shooting table it sits that way as a matter of fact it should be when it's sitting down it should be action open like this but it still stays pointed that way now <clears throat> when it says never point a gun at anything you're not willing to destroy that <clears throat> that means at all times whether it's empty or not because it's always loaded remember okay so you're going to rack the slide <clears throat> it's probably best if you're going to do an overhand get yourself sideways don't put the gun over here and rack it like a lot of people do <clears throat> keep it pointed down the range turn your body if you have to use a slingshot if you have to <clears throat> whatever keep it pointed down that way you know new shooters are you know first time pick up a gun and the first time they shoot they may come down point their gun and shoot and be like hey did you see that yeah it happened so what happened my muzzle went up in the air and it went off to the side didn't it, <clears throat> it it's pretty amazing and <clears throat> you need to treat this like there's a like there's a like you can see the path of the bullet like you can see a big old laser beam coming out of there and anything that you're going past is going to cut it in half no matter how far away it is maybe this laser beam is 10 miles long you don't know how far that bullet's going to travel I mean there's all kinds of studies out there watch they go a long way so keep it pointed down range if you're at a range keep it in a safe spot in, in your home don't be stupid all right don't point it at anything you're not willing to destroy or shoot. Always be sure of your target and what's beyond. This rule is probably the hardest one to understand for people because they're like, well, of course I know my target. I'm shooting it. Well, that's great. But make sure you're shooting something that's safe, first of all. You know, if you're, if you're, I understand if you're in a gunfight then you're shooting the bad guys all right that's <laughs> you know what you're shooting there <clears throat> but if you're in a range or if you're with some over from some friends property and you're outside shooting tin cans or whatever know what you're shooting at you know if you see an I-beam laying across there with tin cans on it there's a good chance you're gonna shoot that I-beam now I-beams are metal and the inside of them are shaped like that bullet go down there and come back and ricochet anywhere so you have to be careful you know, use appropriate targets and know what's past them if you're shooting 10 cans off of a log what's behind it is there thick woods is there a backstop a backstop that'll stop a bullet because I'm going to tell you right now uh, some 2 by 4s aren't going to stop it your wall of your house isn't going to stop it so if you're dry firing it at home <clears throat> Follow those, those first tool rules to a T. Make sure that gun is, is not loaded. Treat it as if it is. Um, don't point that gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. That includes walls of your house. Okay? And I'll tell you something right now. A wall, unless it's a cinder block wall underground, is not going to stop a bullet. It'll go through that wall, through a neighbor's wall, maybe in uh, through another wall yet. Drywall and siding do not stop bullets at all. Last but not least, keep your finger off the trigger until you're on target and the target's in your sights and you're ready to shoot. So what that means, excuse me while I clear this again, We're empty empty chamber no magazine okay <clears throat> so what that means is 
whenever you're holding your gun, if you notice right now, the trigger's there, the trigger guard's here. First off, it's in a safe direction. Second off, I know what I'm pointing at. <clears throat> Third off, I'm willing to put a hole in that wall for the sake of this video. And we are in a basement, so it's not going to go through that wall and hurt somebody. <clears throat> but, um, keep your finger off of it. Whenever you're ready to shoot and you get a grip on your pistol, that finger goes right there. And it does not move. Make it second nature. If you're going to do anything to practice to practice uh, dry firing your pistol or anything, practice keeping your finger here. To me, it's not even, it doesn't even feel comfortable in the trigger guard unless I'm ready, unless I'm sighting it in. So, if you're at the range and you're going to go, let's, let's draw from the table. Okay, here's your table. Grab it. Okay, look where my finger is. Can you see it? It's right there. Get a grip on it. Pick it up. Get it on. Get ready. On target. Once your target's in your sights, you can put your finger in there and shoot the pistol. When you're done, you empty your mag, or when you're finished shooting, finger goes back off, gun comes back at ready position, <clears throat> drop your magazine, open your action, set it on the table. Keeping it pointed that direction all the time. Never let that go. Even when you get even when you're done shooting, and if you're gonna put this in your range bag and take it home, bring your range bag up to the table, put it in the range bag, keep it pointing that way, even in even there. Once it's in the range bag and it's zipped up, you're fine. Carry the range bag however you want. But while you're there, keep it pointing down there all the time and keep your finger off the trigger. That's one of the number one reasons people shoot themselves in the leg drawing from a holster. If you're drawing from concealment and you're in a holster and what happens is people get a grip on their gun like they're supposed to and as they're drawing their finger goes on the trigger just like that and next thing you know boom. There's a video out there you see a guy do that and he was making a video and he said not to make fun of me and he goes what did he what happened? It went Boom! I just shot myself in the fucking leg. Well, yes, he did. That's because he had his finger on the trigger. He did not follow rule number one, two, three, or four. He missed all of them just by doing that. And he put it on YouTube for everybody to see. And what he meant by, I don't want people to make fun of me over it, it's for everybody to learn a lesson from his stupidity. And his stupidity made it okay. I mean, it didn't make it okay for him. He got shot in the leg. Dumbass. But anyway, those are the four golden rules. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I love you, man. Beretta Guy out. See you.